I'm Gianni Bianchini, I'm uh, from uh, Italy, uh, specifically from South Italy, a uh, region called uh, Puglia. I've been uh, traveling full-time for the last five years and a half. Thanks to my job, I work online. I'm a digital marketer and a graphic designer. And uh, I'm uh, in New Orleans now. I've been uh, living in this uh, uh, beautiful city for almost uh, two months and a half. And uh, I really love this place. During my visit in New Orleans, I wanted to find out if uh, the community of uh, Italian Americans have kept this sense of hospitality, inviting people to your own place, sharing a meal, becoming friends, and sometimes these people can be also strangers. I met some people. One of these people was Charles that invited me to his place. We shared a meal together and uh, I could see in him that uh, there is still in his DNA this uh, sense of Italian hospitality. This uh, alligator marsala that he cooked, that he told me it was his first time to cook, but uh, his idea of uh, preparing uh, in this way the alligator was uh, for me really special. This uh, uh, cajun Italian fusion and uh, it was quite delicious, the, the, the meat was tender, the taste of the marsala uh, was really, really delicious. And I was cooking for him some uh, Italian pasta, so it was really an exchange of cultures in the name of uh, Italian hospitality. We have a lot of different things to do, Johnny. We're going to start by just getting it out of the, the uh, milk that I had it saute in overnight to remove the game. Uh -huh. So I'm first going to take it out, and then we're going to... Um, then I'm going to put it in some breadcrumbs. It's going to be fabulous. Fantastic. You remember my, my great aunt, she used to, you know, Italian's breadcrumbs is everything. So she's going to get she's something going here for our breadcrumbs. And then we're going to put the alligator in a, a breadcrumb bath. This is going to be so delicious. Okay, so now I'm going to start to put the breadcrumbs and get the alligator to, to bread it. You know, because breaded veal, we used to have this every other Friday with breaded veal that yeah. my, uh, my grandmother would cook. Mm -hmm. And then now, uh, again, I, I'm more into the alligator and uh, we, we're going to get all of this in here and then let it get, let, let, let it get some really uh, good sticking on it, hopefully. So the key ingredients to alligator marsala is the marsala wine, huh? So we, we've got everything prepared, the mushrooms, the onions, the garlic, the, uh, the onions and the celery, and then the breadcrumbs, everything else. And we got some great stuff from my friend Johnny on the salmon, which I loved. And then we had a little bit of sausage from cousin Michael Verino, but the marsala, that's what we're here for. Yes, <laughs> uh, we are happy. <laughs> So we've breaded everything, we're getting ready to put it in the skillet to get the juices, and then we're going to make the marsala sauce. Let's go for it. Okay. This is going to be fun. Yeah, this is great. So 45 seconds on each side. Yeah, we're making uh, the roux for the... This is fantastic. Alligator with marsala. Okay. So we only need a minute and a half of, the, of on the alligator because we're going to keep it in the oven. Just a little bit of flour on top. We now make it official, huh? We're going to put the marsala in the mar in the mushrooms and um, onions, garlic. We make the marsala sauce and a little bit of white wine to, to help it with the, uh, the heat. We use a dry wine for that. The alligator for alligator marsala. Huh? This is wonderful stuff. And it's now, ready. It's ready. We have the sauce here looking good. I'm reducing it a little bit. And uh, let's get some plates. Uh, 
And here we go. My, my grandfather would be proud. You never know. My grandfather, Gino, would be so proud. The cut's very tender, so that, that part's working out well so far. Mm. It's very tasty. You see? I think Chef Andre, I, I might give him a run for his <laughs> money in a competition. Okay, alligator marsala cooked by Charles <laughs> Marsala tonight. Fantastic. And this is, is the first time cooking this. Very this is the crazy thing. First time out the blocks. Yes. You know, for my friend Johnny and Ivana. Happy to do very, it. Thank you very much for this. Welcome to New Orleans. <laughs> thank you. It's really tender actually. Mm. What do you say? Oh man, I like the look. I like it. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> it's fantastic. Uh, there is this taste of the marsala, the wine, uh, really that uh, makes everything very, how to say, uh, I'm not a good person to say, to describe the food, but as a consistency. Yes. You know, it, 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 it links very well with the, with the, with the meat. It really does. I mean, and then the other ingredients, the onions, the mushrooms, and, and the garlic, it, give it, it gives it a great flavor. Of course, I can't say it's an alligator, <laughs> but the, 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 the meat is very tender, and this uh, sweetness of the marsala makes everything exceptional. Ah, I do want to, I should show you here. Oh, man. The thing, it's very strong, the taste of the wine, which is not a bad thing right. because it makes like uh, really the, the sweetness of the marsala. It's a great, uh, I love it. And if you love wine, <laughs> it's, it's a good taste. The alligator, it, it, it absorbs it. Yeah. And it, um... It's quite an alcoholic meal. <laughs> <laughs> Salute to alcoholic meals. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> this is for Chef Andrea. He's the first one to make alligator marsala, right? Mm. Excellent. Mamma mia! <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> Mamma mia, buonissimo! Mamma mia, yeah, buonissimo! You can say Mamma mia, buonissimo! <laughs> Mamma mia, buonissimo! <laughs> Mamma mia, buonissimo! Wow! The first bite of the alligator marsala surprised me because uh, I guess everyone expects something uh, quite uh, tough, uh, a tough meat, but it was really tender and uh, I love the sweetness and the tenderness of uh, this uh, meat. The sweetness coming from the, the marsala liquor and the tenderness of the meat. It was really a great combination. Also this uh, uh, roasted uh, roasted taste of the, the breadcrumb, the way it was cooked. It was really, really uh, uh, a good idea to create this recipe and uh, I hope many, many people will have the chance to taste this uh, delicious food.